In this module, we will again talk about the purification strategies. As we have discussed that in downstreaming process, the first is depending upon the localization of the product, we use the separation techniques either the centrifugation or filtration. So, there are different choices of centrifugation either that is bash centrifuge, either that is a continuous centrifugation and on other hand there is a filtration techniques either we use the simple filtration technique either we use uh, the uh, we can say that rotary vacuum filters either we use the uh, filter press there are different uh, filtration techniques are available. So, after the separation of uh, the two phases two fraction then there is a purification. So, the isolation and that depend upon the chemical nature of the product by using some uh, organic solvate recovery method, use of some uh, chromatographic techniques, either we can use the ultra purification steps, ultra filtration steps. So, when there is a recovery, when we recover our product that is mostly in the aqueous frame, uh, mostly that is in the form of uh, the soluble solution. So, that contain a diluted form. So, then there is the possible way in the recovery and the purification is then in order to get the product in a purified form. So, then there is a further step then is uh, the drying of the product. So, as concerned the drying of the product that depend upon directly the nature of the product. If the product is heat liable then we have to use those drying method which not affect the product. So, if the product is not uh, is sensitive to the temperature, we can use some other drying techniques. So, there are two either is that low temperature drying method, either that is a high temperature that about uh, 120 degree Celsius. So, as concerned the drying process, which we called as the biological product, that can be the enzyme, that can be any acids, that can be any amino acids. So, that is often the last stage of the manufacturing process. So, if we manufacture our product then there is a drying. So, it involves the final removal of the water from the heat sensitive material ensuring that there is a minimum loss of the viability and the activity of the and uh, the quality value of the, our product which we can, if that is used in uh, any food or in any then we can say that the, the maintain the nutritional value of that product. So, drying is undertaken because the cost of the transport can be reduced and the second is the material is easy to handle and package. So, the material can be stored more conveniently in a dry state just to increase the shelf life. So, it is important that as much water as possible is removed initial by centrifugation or in filter press to minimize the heating cost in the drying process. But when this process we cannot apply then there is the only choice of the either that is the uh, spray drying you can see in this that how the spray drying is act, but in this spray drying uh, we have the feeding on one side and that is spray inside where is the hot air having uh, the movement and then hot air exit and then the dried particles uh, settle down and we collect the product. So, then if the heat sensitive material then is the choice of uh, the freeze drying. So, the freeze drying method when there is uh, uh, basically uh, in a sublimation techniques. So, the first the material is uh, having a, a solidify and then at a very low vacuum and a very under negative pressure and a very low temperature then the water has to um, remove. So, that is the method which is mostly used for the enzymes and some other heat labile uh, heat sensitive product of fermentation. So, the final process of uh, the purification is the drying just to minimize the size and to increase the shelf life before the packaging of that product. So, as concerned the whole summary of the recovery at the purification it is the just summary of that. So, starting from uh, the process of the separation then the some chemical methods then lastly come is uh, drying techniques.